In this video, we're going to try a brand new brightening mask from Aquashore. It is Korean and it is awesome. I have used this like after vacation on many occasions and it is wonderful to help brighten up the skin. But I do a little step beforehand to make it even more effective. That's coming up next. Welcome back, Christine Bayer here, licensed esthetician for 22 years. And on this channel, we talk about your skincare journey because it's never one thing that makes your face look better. It's a whole combination of things. And the skin does like variety. So say you're using a lot of different brightening agents and you wanna switch it up or you just got back from vacation and need some hydration and some brightening. This is your go-to. Plus, you know what? These masks have 30 ml of product in them, like one full ounce in this bag. So it's just chock full, so you can use it like three days in a row if you wanted to. You could just uh, use the mask first, and then, um, and I'll show you in a second, but you take a fan brush and dip it in there, make sure you leave it in the refrigerator, and use it the next day and the next day. And it's very gentle, but let me get this on because it has a distinct color. <laughs> oh, but first, I wanna show you how you can make this absorb even better. All right, so this is my mystery enzyme. It's coming soon. This should be in stock in about six weeks, but I love this enzyme. It is my go-to for people with rosacea and I just, if I wanna just calm their skin, it's just so soothing. And if I have a new client and I'm not quite sure what to do with their skin, I will put this on them. And you can also work with it to uh, underneath devices, it's that gentle. So I'm just gonna do a quickie here, almost like I'm washing the skin with this enzyme. Some people feel the activity of this enzyme and some don't, just depends on how much buildup they have and how thin their skin is, but it's so gentle most don't feel. It doesn't feel like anything really. So watch for this, this is coming soon. All right, so I'm gonna wash this off. Normally you would, um, there's different ways to use this, but you could leave it on up to 10, 15 minutes if you wanted to let it dry down. Okay, make sure we get any residue of that enzyme off. And I have lots of redness to my face because that's, my dad was like that, my mom is like that. <laughs> oh, my sister, my, my one of my younger sisters has the reddest cheeks and when she would drink alcohol, they just went and then, um, she noticed she went for a whole month without alcohol and they calmed down. And I also put her on Neogenesis Recovery because that helps a lot with that. I think otherwise my skin would be like hers. My, my cheeks would be like hers. She also walks a lot because she lives outside of New York City and they tend to walk more, walk to the subway and that kind of stuff there. I do have her on some good sunscreens, but I think between sun and alcohol, my kind of cheeks, my kind of skin that does it in. But her skin's always been tiniest but tougher than mine and I'm just gonna give my skin a tiny splash to make sure any residue of that enzyme is off so this mask is kind of funny once again look how juicy this is it's so freaking juicy so this one is interesting it's got tranexamic acid I know that there are other youtubers that are really into that ingredient niacinamide again adenosine rhodiola rosea root extract i actually take that for my adrenals and lentipodium I'll, lentipo how come i can say lentipodium uh alpinum callus culture extract it says whitening radiance calming elastic moisturize i love these korean descriptions it's yellow it's called the melatonin mask by aquashore I just, this masks are so much easier for me to put on my clients rather than myself. <laughs> They're just juicy. Here we are, upside down. And see this little nose thing? I gotta make sure I take that out. And this is a microfiber mask, so very soft. So flippin' juicy. <laughs> so much moisture in this. And you can also, you know, take a bath. You could do devices over this. I think it'd be a little tricky though. I would cut right there. Oh God, it just feels so freaking soothing. <laughs> I feel like I've been needing some extra TLC lately. You know, life, life, life. And I was looking, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, the highly sensitive person. 
And my mom used to always say when I was growing up, you're too sensitive, you're so sensitive. And I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm a facialist. I pick up on people's vibes. I do energy work. I don't really talk about the energy work here because I'm going to focus on what I do here. But yeah, I mean, I pick up on people's energies all the time when I'm doing facials. Hard not to. All right, so this says to leave on for 20 minutes. Make sure you take the excess down the neck because we get, and then if I had an opened or like a boat neck on, I would get my chest for sure. But remember, we get sun in the car, get those earlobes, get the side. We get sun in the car so badly, especially on this driver's side. I always do a little more work on my client's driver's side because it's always rattier looking than their non-driver side or the right side. Okay, so we're gonna do the time capsule <laughs> that is the internet and I'll be taking this off in three, two, one. Ah, <laughs> it feels so good. I see that transemic acid. I know I'm slaughtering that. That didn't upset my skin too much. Looks pretty good. Anyway, so if you're looking to further your skin brightening efforts, I know that my neck looks really calm. I have little freckles all over my neck. I don't know if you can see them. They usually pop right out when I go in the sun and this cons, cons, calms them right down. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I wanted to show you how you can reuse this. You just grab a fan brush. These are available. I've seen them all over Amazon. They're just, they're everywhere, but they're called a fan brush. And you would just dip this in here and put more on. Or actually, sorry, you would put this in the fridge and use it, you can use it the next day. I would use it within a week. And at this point, you could blot off the excess, you know, don't rinse your face, blot it off, and put on your favorite moisturizer if it's at night. If it's during the day, I would blot it off, put on your favorite sunscreen, moisturizer than sunscreen, and then go about your day. Anyway, thanks for watching, talk to you soon, bye now.